this teacher gonna get here or this is like room 280 right um huh. yes uh oh perfect yeah uh, like oh wait a second six years since i've been here is, is, um, that, is that hello it everyone is. my name is uh, borealis you can call me professor b you can call me Bo, Professor Bo, or you just call me Yahomi. All right. So we're going to be doing history in this class. Okay. Is, do we all know what history is? It's a great starting point. Wouldn't you be more good to teaching music? I mean, what is music? Why? I thought he was a history friend. teacher. What is music but the history of words? I mean... You're speaking I a whole lot of nonsense. Point. Wow, yeah, no, that, that no, makes he's perfect a, sense. he's a point. Ahem. <clears throat> History... I don't get it. ...is beyond important. Specifically for us, because we are all children of the gods. Correct? Correct. What, what is... what is wrong with... It? Oh, you're okay. You take notes very, very vigorously, you in the, in the white coat. Hey, Farrell. Yeah. Farrell, could you duck your head? Oh, sorry. Is there... Oh, there's somebody back there. Oh, jeez. Why are Hello, you... Hello, sir. I, I am Riven. Riven Yordson. Mr. Borealis, sir. Okay. Um... Big fan. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You yeah. would be a fan of him, wouldn't Wait. you? Love your sea shanties. Yeah. You wouldn't no, be a fan of him. We sing them all the time Wait. on my ship. I know. Uh, you know I thought he was our history teacher. Wait, who is he? That's... Can you just introduce yourself to everybody don't so they him? finally know who you are? No. Because He'll tell you. Yeah. you don't know. Um, hello, my name is Borealis. I am uh, a musician, an artist. I am well known for my works. Sea shanties. My heart will go on. Okay. It's what? like a pop punk sea shanty mix thing. It's real. It's real experimental. Okay. Real experimental. But it's all about soul and telling your story. And that's what history is. It's telling in a very important... Listen, we all have our fates. Okay? It's something that is both escapable and inescapable. And history is an understanding of the fates of the people who came before us. Why? Why do we need to know what their fates were? So that we don't make the same mistakes. Okay? For some people, your fate is going to be very straightforward. And for some, you'll be like me, where it's not so straightforward. And for some, you will like your fate, and for some, you will not. And you will learn through history how people were able to cope with these problems and other things. Listen, I, I take... The old man, the, you know, the, the green guy, Kale, he really just called me up last minute. Like, the history teacher, I'm here because I'm doing a favor for him. Like, I, I only graduated six years ago, guys. Like, I really, like, left six years ago. Like, that was when I started my career and everything. So, has anybody got questions? Like, I think the person with the hand up right now might have a question. That, oh, that... yeah, you. Uh, name. Name. Uh, um... uh, File Mahoney, son of Luke. Okay, son of Luke. Oh, so happy. welcome. Uh, welcome. It uh, is an honor to meet you, sir. How do I ace your class? You... My dearest friend, there is no way to ace my class. Can I ace the class? Oh, no. With oh, just a strategy. To pass with history, you need to understand from the heart. And that's why... I would like to teach history to you guys in the way that the peoples from our past did. Through poem, through song, through epics. I'm sure we've all heard of Homer, huh? Any of the, the other no. Greeks out there? Romans, Greeks and Romans. I'm not Greek, but I know all the stories. Wonderful, um, good job. I know some of them. Yeah? I, yeah. My dad is the god of stories, so I kind of just no, memorized them all. Sense. Yeah, I know that. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, so. You're trying to compare yourself to Homer? No, no. I do, like, modern music. Like, Homer's, like, more of a novelist and, like, a like, 
closer to like a modern day novelist. Isn't right? he dead? Oh yeah, long dead. Super. But I actually he... prefer you, sir. Your music. Prefer. Um, his music is great, isn't will not it? get you a passing grade. I have been told that is a rule that comes from the big man himself. That's a rule? Okay. Well, yeah, I was not being yes, facetious. I meant it. Okay, well, thank you. Um, anyways, for your first assignments, I want you to pick your favorite story and try and summarize it into a 12-line poem. It can be not just about the story. It could be your feelings, your emotions, so, because that's how we understand history, through how our reactions to it is. Any questions? Please, someone. Are we are, are we limited on the stories we can choose, or is it like no. specifically myth stories, or? I mean, you can choose from your own pantheon. I mean, preferably because we're learning, you know, history about our pantheons. Oh. You should probably pick one from there. But like, if you want to do like another story, just bring it up to me, and I'll prove it or disprove it. We're good. Um. Question: mm -hmm. Can we do a little bit more than the amount of lines you specified? Oh, question: Do you get a better grade if you do more lines? Okay, so do we know why we do poems? It's because it's like we're trying to condense it. I want you to do twelve lines. Do so we get an extra grade for less lines? No, you do not get an extra grade for less lines. <sighs> You actually, you would get, like, actually points off if you did less lines. It has to be 12 lines. Okay? Understood? All right. So, uh, does anyone want to share maybe what their favorite uh, myth is? We can, we can start with that. Anybody? How about you, Inkface? Uh, is it? I think you're funny. He wasn't talking uh, to you. That was hilarious. Huh, funny. Funny. Uh, Turn around, Raccoon. Actually, it was... I was talking to him, but you can go. Uh, you go for it. I, well, it was... Okay, uh, it, is it really a myth if it's true? <laughs> you raise a valid question. And it's only a myth because, again, the real world is sort of touchy-goey on this sort of subject. You know what I mean? They kind of don't really get it and understand it. Like, trust me, I have been you know, performing in front of humans for, like, years now. Uh, and they don't understand the power that my music has on them to the fullest extent. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to call it a myth, even though it's technically true. But you raise a good point. You raise a good point. Um, all right, well, how about you? Uh, the, the, uh, I did, Kale did mention something about you. What was it? What was it? Uh, son of, son of Poseidon, correct? That's correct. All right. So, uh, what's your name? What's your name there, huh? Damien. Damien. Wonderful. What is your favorite myth? Probably have to think about Persephone. Uh, the, the, story the story behind the Persephone being locked away. Obviously, it's true, but like you said. Mm -hmm. And why do you think that the story of Persephone being locked away hugs so dearly at your heart? a tragic tale about how someone is practically being forced to be there maybe. for eternity. Exactly. Do you ever feel like maybe you have a relatability to that? Hmm. To an extent. There you go. And now we understand why we find value in the myths that we read, that we study, and that we think about. All right. I want you all, for the rest of the class, to start studying and uh, think about your favorite myth. Try and get a summary to me uh, of it by, by the end of class. And then, by next class, I want your 12-line poem. Sound like a plan? Yes, yes I, sir. I, I guess. Wonderful. Yeah, I well, yeah, I don't know why I'm asking you guys. Listen, again, I'm new to this whole teaching thing. But, like, uh, we're good. Don't worry about it. A question, if, uh, sir? Uh, of course. Uh can it be something that hasn't happened yet? A prophecy? Um, 
Well, I'm going to go with no. I'd be intrigued because... to, to, to believe so, honestly. A prophecy right here in this class would be quite spectacular, wouldn't you think? Well, it's a I mean, history. A, prophe a prophecy would be great, but it's also extremely dangerous. Yeah, I assume so. Fair. What I want oh, to get out of this... What I want to get out of this from you guys is not... A, 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 a magical, mystical, or a... a powerful value or anything i just want you guys to connect with your own past that's the values that we're going for and when you pick a story and in a story that has happened and you connect with it it gains so much more power and that's why we can tell them okay you'll yes, learn sir. throughout the You'll learn throughout the semester that history can be far more powerful than just reading it from a textbook. Understood. All right. Well, if there's any more questions, I'll be here. Um, listen, whatever happens, don't tell Kale. Just whatever happens, don't tell Kale. We'll be fine. One last question. Sure. Thank you me. are a permanent history teacher now. You know, it might just turn out that way. In which case, I'm going to yes. have to do some searching on how to be a teacher. I mean, I can't say that will be the worst thing ever. I'm going to try my best. I think it'll be the best. I'm surrounded by simpletons. Be fantastic. One final, 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 final question. Of course. Can you give Pharrell attention? Why? I mean, I does. have the power to give Pharrell detention, but they have not yet done anything to warrant getting detention. Pharrell, I don't know. Detention. I mean, unless Pretty Pharrell sketchy. really wants detention. I mean, I oh, they I, love I, detention. I, sir, I do not want detention. I mean, I, I will mean... write an extra poem for no detention. <laughs> I need to keep my record clean. That's overachieving. Ow, Pharrell, to... why did you throw a book at me? I did not throw a book! Violence! Ow! Ow, oh, Farrell, really. why did you throw a tomato yeah. at me? I do, I do. Guys, please stop! I cannot say my record! I can't uh, do this! Sir, Farrell is being very aggressive right now. Yeah. I am not being aggressive! That and shouting, sir. Farrell. They are being really loud over yeah, there. Yeah, my ears are hurting a bit. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Hey, Farrell, Farrell. You know, when you get a chance, why don't you stop by my office? I think we have some things we need to talk about. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yes. All right, now the rest sir. of you get to work. Yes, sir. Once upon a time, Luke was. Oh, I can't rhyme. And, and now I rhyme, of course. Oh, hi, hi, hi. Hi. I, you, you took me off. God, hello. Are you okay? You're pacing again. I, I'm. Bad at poems. I almost failed English back in high school. Uh, this is bad. Uh, yeah. I need to ace that class. Oasis, Oasis just barely got it from me last year. I can't do this. Also, something arrived. Oh. What is this? It's got my name on it. Ribbon, my friend, my demigod, soon to be king of the pirates. Yeah. The search for the crew is going well. It's going... That's all. Make some friends here. Make sure to crush Damien to pieces. Nymphre. Oh, it's an update. Okay. Alright. The search for the crew is going well. That's good. That's wonderful. So you will get your crew back and you can pursue your ship. own destiny then. Well, once I figure out what it is, I still don't really know why I'm here. Could have been an accident when pantheons collide. Sometimes fates just go off the rails. I don't know. It's... I mean, Kyle, when I got here, told me that I was meant to come here. Fate brought me here. I mean, and I had to stay. Also, K Kyle is in competition with the norms. Uh, yeah, that's. A, I'm, I'm a little conflicted about that. Though so, I'm happy you're here because. It's a step towards peace between the pantheons. That's true. If we can ever get there. I'll want to get there. I don't I mean, like... if my... I don't, I don't have a big connection to the Norns. I've never really met them. 
I'm just a guy in the Norse pantheon. Well, I'm a future god. At least, I hope. Yeah, I guess I'm a future king. Exactly. With working together, we could bring the peace between the pantheons that our parents couldn't. That is true. And with that, a shared fate between everyone. As long as we don't fail completely at everything, and if this history Fair. class ends up being too hard to understand, Fair, I'm Fair. dead. Fair. Fair. Relax. I can't do this. Breathe. I can't do this. Breathe. <sighs> you got this. I mean, just think about the incredible stories of of Lug. I mean, there's got to be one that's top I've notch. I've got one. You've got, got a story. One. Okay. Well, what it's, is it? It's how Lug became a god. All See, right. uh, Lug was part of well, one of the enemies, actually. However, he oh. went to the Tuadedanan. And he proved himself at every single skill, one by one. And when it turned out that there was someone for every skill, he was like, but do you have someone for every skill? And they allowed him to join, and then he became king for a while before he died. Oh. I'm yeah. sorry about that, but... All right, that's a he good story. He died before I was born. He died before I was conceived. Maybe each line could be about each skill he had to overcome. Yes. Yes. You're, you're right. You're right. Oh, poetry is actually a skill he was good at. I've never wrote I mean, a He was poem. good at everything. We can work on that together. Uh, Oasis yeah. is going to one-up me on this one. I know it. With that attitude, they right. might. But you gotta, you gotta have some belief. That you can win. You're right. You're right. Like, I, I believe this. I can beat Damien. You have to believe that you can beat Oasis. Well, you never will. You're right. I can't spend another two years here. I've already been here for too long. I need my fate read. Well, the faster I get read, the faster I'm worthy. Exactly. So, what do you got to do? Become number one, which means you have to Become overtake the best Oasis. Become the best. The only way you yes. can do that is if you train hard, you work hard, but most of all, you believe that you actually can. I know I can. My, I... Okay, That's what is, I want to hear. This is a bit of a secret. Well, not much okay. of a secret, but it's mostly from my family. What's said in the dorm stays in the dorm. I already know my fate. You know? Why are you uh, here? Yes and no. My fate was told to me in a prophecy before the shared fate was created. It, oh. Not all of it. As they wanted to keep some of it for once I actually joined the Tour de Danan. Okay. Once I joined the Tour de Danan, I am destined for a trial of massive proportions. So, me joining, becoming a god is a given. If they didn't change it, and if I can prove myself enough to even become a god in the first place. So, you're here to find it. out if it's different? Yes. If, well, everything that Pav's been saying, it seems the other Pantheons had similar fates for me. So well, that's good. Uh, but I, I need to prove myself first, and the I wonder path... if the Norse fate for you is different. I would hope it isn't. Maybe this we could, could find sabotage out. my fate. Perhaps. But for that, how. we need. For that. We need to first find out mine, and we need you we need my to train up. Exactly. And you need to train, <laughs> as right now you are weak. I'm not we need weak. To train. I was kicking Damien's butt. It was a... It was equal. It wouldn't have been if it kept going. I was going to win that, for sure. You broke the rules, and I am very much against dishonorable conduct and fighting. It was if you want a good duel, I can help you train. I have been training for most of my life, since I was eight. I mean, I'm willing to train, because I am not going to lose. I have to be the best on the seas, because he's not my only enemy. The seas are they cursed. Don't. They've been cursed for a long time, and my father, well, he's retired to the Noatun. He just wants to rule his own place off the seas. He doesn't want to control the ocean anymore. He wants me to do that. And I can't let him down, so I have to become the strongest, the best. You know your father. Yeah. 
That's not something a lot of demigods can say. I don't see him very often. I wasn't really raised in the Notun, but I've been there once. It's beautiful. And he told me that this is my destiny. How young were you? Maybe like six. Oh. I was I mostly raised we were... in Sweden. I see. I suppose we were similar ages when our, uh, well, quests were dropped on us. Yeah. I mean, it's not my guaranteed written fate, but it's my father's mission. And to me, that's more important than anything. Of course. Honor to your family and honor to your role. Exactly... As a demigod, you carry your father's legacy. Exactly. I have to live up to it, especially with how successful my, my siblings are. Freya and Freja. I see. Which is exactly why I will write about him in my poem. I'll write about Luke with your suggestion. Exactly. I think mine's going to be about how he survived Ragnarok. I always loved that story. Do you think you could? I've never wrote a poem in my life. I'd I actually... meant survive Ragnarok. Oh. I mean... I don't know. It's... I think you have it in you. There's not many things that have ever scared me, but the thought of Ragnarok... Well, your body may still need some work, but... Your heart is... Well... Set towards its goals. I think that's, that's more important than anything. I sure as hell wouldn't go down without a fight. Besides, you're also my roommate that has lasted the longest out of everyone in this school. I'm not going anywhere. That tells me you're resilient. And exactly. um, that I can consider you a friend and I'm very happy about that. We are friends, yeah. Oh, uh, thank you. It is an honor. The honor. We can work together. Is mine. Towards... We can work together, not just towards our fate, but towards our legacies. It's something that only some in this school would understand, at we're least to this degree. We're striving towards goals that are greater than us, so we have to stick together. Always. All right. The way now, please we... help me with this poem. I actually really need help. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, well, let's see what you've got. So that's your. I have one sentence, and I don't like you wrote it. Once upon a time, this isn't a storybook. This is a poem. Speaking... I fail. I nearly failed English in high school. I was busy training for this. Okay. Well, you know, first of all, uh, do you have like a book on this story I can read? Um, somewhere around here. If you can, yeah. Let me let me take a look at that. I'll I'll get it in my head, and then we'll figure it out. Thank you. I appreciate that. 